Yo, 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 what is going on, COD Familia? It is your boy BN, aka Mr. Kingdom Builder, and yes, I have the Big Mamba Jumbo for you today, where we are going to be taking a look at the nine KVKs finishing Season T1 that are in T1-9 through T1-1, or 1 through 9, and they're going to be going into the newest season, which is going to be us coming back to Belleron. Most likely, at least what I think it could be named, is going to be SB2, because this is SB1. I just removed the O for short. So I'm thinking it could be SB2, and it's going to be these kingdoms here, ST1-1 or SOT1-1, and then ST1 or SOT1-9. These kingdoms are 1 through 10, 22 through 90. They are going to be going into the newest KVK season here on the 19th. Today, we are going to be showing you uh, the matchups. So what kingdoms got paired with who? What alliances got paired with who? We're going to show you top players. We're going to show you top alliances and top kingdoms. And we'll even compare uh, some data that we did from the last group preview data pool, which was these alliances and players going into the current season they're in right now, T1. So it should be exciting. As always, if you enjoy the content, make sure you because it helps out a lot. Okay, that actually sounded better. Lastly, yes, I will be making this spreadsheet available publicly. It'll typically be made 24, become public 24 hours at least, if not more, after the video is up. If you wanna know where you can find that, you can simply go on the Discord, link to that in the pinned comment description right down below, and then you'll come here to the sub, uh, or no, sorry, we'll go here to the reaction roll, you can go there too if you'd like, uh, but we'll go to reaction rolls, you'll select Call of Dragons, which is fourth from the left right here, it'll pop open the Call of Dragons category, you'll scroll down, you'll go to COD Data Stats, and I'm most likely going to put it up as a temporary uh, option below number five. Okay, let's get to the goods, the reason why you're all here, because your boy just doesn't disappoint. So, Let's start off with uh, players. So we're going to go in order of personal power, alliances, servers, top seven alliances. Uh, we'll do KVK power, and then we'll do KVK alliances. So it's kind of going to go in order. Now, end of season, if you just want to see how that looks, this is kind of the format that it's been going. These are the K KVKs that are involved, and these are the kingdoms that are involved going into the new season. So starting with personal power, it should be noted that last T1 season, there was 189 players that were at 100 mil and above. That's all I calculated for this. You can clearly see here there's 362, almost double. Uh, for those of you that are curious, this took me about a day uh, to pull the data for, maybe like 12 to 14 hours in total having to go through all. So it was a lot of work. Uh, and as always, I hope you appreciate but now let's go ahead and we'll take a look. So I'll kind of scroll up and we'll show you. Just kind of give some love to everyone uh, because it's just important, you know. So we'll you know at least do the best best we can here. And as we go, you'll notice that there are some players that do not have alliances being shown. That is just because they were allianceless at the time when I went through and pulled the data, which, as I said, was done over the past 16 hours maybe 18 hours if you're just counting sleep. Well, sorry, probably 20 to 22, really. No, i got to think about this now. No, yeah, probably 16. So yeah, I guess I guess maybe it took me about eight hours, seven or eight hours now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but here are uh, your top 25. Keep in mind that uh, for those curious, the top 25 players and alliances will, uh, will most likely be changing at some point. Uh, sorry, it may not be what this is, and I say that because there's a number of players that are in kingdoms not included in these 79 kingdoms that are strong enough to make the top 25 players and alliances, but this will just show you what it is for those 79 kingdoms going into the new KVK. Uh, you could see here, <clears throat> lastly, right, this was kind of the big, so 25 was at 155, 155 mil, 648 was Nefisto. We go back here, you see it's 197 now, right, so almost about a, a, what, a 50 mil increase that we see there, 48 mil, and then now the bubble is at a billion for Nefisto. Number 234, uh, you could see it was like 262, 228, now 362, right, so 100 mil bump there on number two. Uh, then... Let's take a look at the alliances. So some interesting data here that is new, along with what I showed previously on the players. So there are 134 alliances. Now, let me explain why I included these ones. However, next time I do this, I'm going to do it more efficiently than I, that I now thought of. So one of the things I thought of is I wanted to tally up the total members in, in uh, up to all alliances. 
However, when I was going through this initially, I, th I was only including alliances that had clear distinctions on the kingdoms that they were either definitely in or most likely in. And how this was determined was by going through the alliance uh, players. And I'll give you an example here on that, right? So if we go back in game, how we looked at that was going through here. I'd click on an alliance, I'd click on members, and then I would just simply see if they have the same server, right? So if enough of the management team has are in the same server, then I would go ahead and label them as, okay, everyone's there. If it looked a little iffy, like there might've been one, two or three people that were from different ones, then I would look at rank threes, right? And I would look at maybe like 10 rank threes just to see. Uh, and that's mainly just to try and find some consistency. However, if it was more than that, then I just wouldn't count them. Uh, so that's the main difference there. However, that is why some alliances are not included on this list. But next time I do this, I am going to include all alliances. The only difference is, is that I won't be adding all alliances to the uh, strength uh, of their kingdom because they have kind of a melting pot mix of players from different servers uh, or from different home kingdoms. So that's kind of how I'm going to adjust that. But the reason why I wanted to include total members for when I eventually add in all of the alliances is because I felt like this would be a great indicator to see how many play, like how like what's the drop off right from these amount of kingdoms on if I included all the alliances that were at a billion power and more how many players are in them now yes you can make the argument that you could probably I could probably just count this maybe for the higher because typically for alliances that may have been left off this list we're averaging around three billion or lower so I technically could tally up the numbers for the top a hundred alliance like for alliances that were over five bill right I could look at alliances that are at five bill and above and maybe we'll do that right uh, here in a sec uh, as an example but let me go ahead and just show you the alliances here uh, and then maybe we'll do that because that would still probably give us a, a good gauge. Um, at least as it pertains to the top 50. So here you go. Let me go ahead and we will skadoosh this. And then there we go for the top 25. Uh, now, as I said for the players, this is most likely going to change once I do it for the entire game. Keep in mind, as another reminder, this is just for those 79 kingdoms, 1 through 10, 22 through 90. This, like I said, was also pulled right over the past 20 hours. Uh, or 16 hours, 16, 17 hours, whatever I ended up saying in the beginning. Uh, but yeah, this is where we're at. Uh, so now let's do this. So let's look at members. Let me see if I can get a sum total here. Let's look at any, let's look at alliances at 5 billion and over to see what the difference is. And we want to do a sum, I think. Yeah. So we'll do a sum. So the sum here for the top, uh, for alliances at 5 billion power or more is 10,535. Okay. So let's do that. So we'll do, let's do this. We'll do uh, SB2, 5 bill, 10,535. Was that right? Or am I still debating if I can, <clears throat> how bad the short term memory loss is? Uh, let's see, where was I? 5 bill, right? Let me just double check that because I feel like I'm already going cray cray. Nice! Memory is not completely shot. Okay, uh, then let's look at. The ooh, that's a different one. Uh, let's go here to the old one. So we're gonna look at alliances that are five billion power. Or, oh no, I can't. Dang it, because I didn't do it on this one. Okay, well, you guys know where I'm going with that. I was somewhat excited. I forgot to actually list that out because that took a minute. Uh, but at least you're able to see the top 25 here. Now let's get to the top kingdom. Slight random detour, but you know what? That's uh, what Mr. One Take gets for that. Okay, now we're going to look at the top kingdoms in the game. However, we're also going to be comparing this, though, against the top kingdoms that happened last season, uh, where, uh, or, yeah, going into T1, or sorry, yeah, before T1 started, right? So this, which was captured on January 29th of this year, uh, right? So what, a month and a half ago? Oh, no, sorry, not a month and a half ago, two and a half months ago. Uh, and then we'll compare here. So let's go ahead. And we'll show you the goods. Uh, and also remember, if alliances are here at zero and none were included, that's because there was no alliances that were at least at a billion power or, or over that gave a strong indication that they that all of the members there or the majority of the members, right, were from that kingdom. Okay, so we're going to show these off. Uh, and again, it also has the activity status. This activity status was pulled from here, 
right, which was when I ended up pulling the data two days ago on the 14th for these 79 kingdoms specifically. So it's all up to date. Um, this is post migration uh, or post their migration window, I should say. And then we'll look here and you can kind of get an idea. Uh, and then we'll scroll all the way up or at least to one, so to speak. I guess that works too. Yeah. Uh, and then you can see, right? So this is where it's at. Uh, and I think there's only five, six full kingdoms, uh, and then a number of crowded that we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and then we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So six full, 25 crowded, uh, that we have. And then these are kind of the new strongest kingdoms. Now, how does that potentially compare against the... T, uh, oh, wow, I should probably fix that. Let's do 16 because that's really what it is. Uh, but how does that compare, right? So if we look here, right, 43, 56, 24. Uh, let's see, where was 43, 56, 24? So none of them were there, right? So previously it was 69, 2, 87, 6, 54. Uh, and none of them rights are in the top five. So you could see, oh, 54 is there though, right? So they were 13, 54 is four. Yeah, and, and again, there's uh, being able to kind of showcase, I think what I'll, what I'll do next time that I thought about was showing like the kingdom movement. Obviously, I think it's going to be a lot different once we get home kingdoms in where we're not going to be seeing as much kind of volatile switching uh, and, and migration out, at least I hope. Uh, but next time, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll probably do something like, uh, you know, previous, uh, previous rank, previous server, something like that. I'll, I'll probably do a column for that. Uh, so let me see. There's rank here. Let's do, let's do it like this, just so I don't forget. So let's do, we'll do C rank for current. Uh, and then we'll do, uh, let's do, and then we'll do what? Let's do P rank for previous, right? So this way, this way I know going forward, that's what we'll do. And then I'll add that in, uh, the next go around. Okay. Now, as we end up getting to probably the main event and what most of you are here for, which is the KVK power tab. And this is basically matchups that we're getting. So we're going to go over the matchups first. Uh, and I'll show you that, and then we'll, I, I guess we can kind of go through each, I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, um, but I also added current ranks in as well, depending on where they came, that's pulled from the top kingdoms or servers tab, so all of these start on the 19, now the biggest difference here is that there's eight KVK groups that are going to be going into the new Bellerin season, which could be aptly named SB2, compared to last season, or the current season, where there's nine T1 KVKs, <clears throat> right? So they just added an extra king number two to the groups. So in the first group, we have, it is 84, 45, 47, 38, 22, 173, 44, 42. And you could see here what the differential is on power. Uh, this is the total power. Uh, power range, this is, excuse me, this is the uh, in-between. So basically we take the strongest kingdom minus that from the weakest or lowest powered kingdom. And then that's the range that you end up getting. This is the sum total power. Uh, again, based on the kingdom power that we took from the previous tab as well. And then these are the top alliances. Uh, and then I'll show you this next tab, which will actually have the names of them. So if you're curious. Uh, and then we look at the amount of 100 mil pluses, right? So you can see the amount. You can see what the activity differentials are here as well. And we're actually going to go back to the server tab here in a moment uh, because there is something that I do want to talk about a little bit that I didn't have a chance to mention before as long as I don't forget. Uh, but yeah, and then let's go to the next group. So the next group is 24, 71, 28, 81, 2, 6, 77, 32, 8, and 85. Here we have, uh, again, you can see 22 bill to 2. This is 87 uh, billion power that they end up having. Uh, and previous was 77.8. You can see the range here is 20.37. There is a high number of T5s between here, with the most being from 71 with 16, uh, and then the next being 4 from 24. Uh, and you can see some of the differentials here, right, where you can see some of the alliance powers. All right, mainly, again, you may not necessarily factor in the lower-powered ones. You could probably make an argument for, like, 4 to 5 billion above, uh, maybe more so 5 billion above. 
Uh, but again, just for consistency, right, this is how we're kind of going about it. Now, I'll most likely be doing a PvP video like we did before where we looked at like the PvP data breakdowns for the KVKs. And once we know what the matchups are going to be for all of them, uh, and that'll be... I would imagine what most people will probably be looking for, um, at least when it comes to, you know, what's fighting capabilities for all sides. So we have this. Uh, again, uh, you can see the differential here, which is full, full, crowded, crowded, actives and normal, right? So this was kind of like a 4-5 split. This is like a 2-2 two, two, and then 5-5-1 five, five and one, uh, if you're going active normal. Uh, if we go to the next group, this is 87, 41, 3, 79, 27, 34, 33, 59, 48, 53. Uh, total power is 85 bill. Uh, range is 14.48. Um, you can see there's a couple top dogs here in the group uh, with 41 having the most uh, 100 mil plus players at uh, 20. Next is 87 uh, at 11. Uh, and again, kind of a, de a decent split, right? It's crowded actives that you end up having. But again, still kind of going along the same trend, right? It's a couple high, a couple medium, uh, and then a couple low, right? And that's pretty consistent uh, so far, at least when you're kind of considering total kingdom power itself. Then we look at 454, 64, 58, 83, 76, 66, and how far did I go down for that one? Here we go. Where's 66? Did I go too fast? Look at that. Already lost my already lost my spot. No, 85, 83. Where did I? Oh, here we go. 66. Good. <clears throat> I didn't lose it that far. Uh, 970 and 90. Uh, 83 bill for the power. 10. So this is pretty low. 10 mil, 10 bill for the power range. Uh, but again, still pretty wide. Uh, you can see again, kind of even split of crowded active. Uh, you could see some high, couple medium, couple low. Right. Uh, then we get to this group, which is 90 million plus. Uh, 90 billion, 30, 36, 5, 75, 68, 52, 80, 74, 35, 46. And here we end up uh, having, uh, you can see the range, which is 17 billion. There's 39, 100 mil plus players in Kingdom 5. We have 24 in 30, uh, and then 10 in 68. So, I mean, this is a pretty big group power-wise, uh, then we get to the next one. This is the strongest group right now, at least as it pertains to combined power, uh, kingdom power. We have 43, 25, 62, 86, 7, 55, 82, 40, 63, and 57. Uh, you can see range here, right? Total is 97 bill. Range is 20.6, almost 20.7 billion. Uh, you see five 100 mil pluses. That's for 25 and for kingdom seven. And then a bunch of threes. You have a full, crowded, active, even the one above, right? Two fulls, crowded, active, normal. So you can kind of see some of the splits there. Uh, and then we get into the next group, which is 61, 29, 88, 49, 37, 78, 72, 69, 26, and 10. Uh, total power 69 bill, so on a little bit of the lower end. 15.3, though, for the pool range. Um, and you can see a, a still a decent number of uh, 100 mil plus players. 61 has 25. Kingdom 29 has 22. Uh, then some honorable mentions there at five apiece uh, for 49 and 26. Then we have a couple crowdeds uh, along with a number of actives. So we get to the last group here, which is 88 billion. This is 56, 23, 89, 65, 67, 31, 60, 50, 39, and 51. Range is 21.2 uh, billion power almost, or sorry, 21.8. I think I was going to say 22 averaging. Uh, but you can see 23 to 16, right? So again, wide range. Uh, you see a full crowded actives normals. You see still a solid number of T5s here, 32 for 56, 26 for 23, uh, or I should say 100 mil pluses, excuse me. Uh, honorable mention there for 60 with 6. Uh, and then we get into like some, uh, some of the interesting stats right, that we pulled here. So these are arranged in strongest group based on kingdom power uh, to lowest power to group, right? So you can kind of see that 1 through 8. These are the kingdoms that are involved. Uh, these are the powers. Now the range for this is 28 billion. That's from strongest pool to lowest powered pool combined uh, with, uh, again, alliances that have build power and above that are defined right for the kingdom that they're in. The previous range for T1, and I'll show you that here, is where we looked at here, right? So you can see this is the previous range that we pulled from. Theirs was 38.1 bill. So it's actually getting better, right? And improved by 10 bill. So, I mean, I think that's a win. I, th I still think it could have been a lot better, but it is what it is for now. Uh, now, the high range was 95 bill. The low range was 57. So you can see this came up by 12, uh, and this came back down by 2, right? 
Uh, so again, or sorry, increased by two, I should say. And uh, just to kind of show you like what the previous high, what the previous low was, which is which is how it should be, right? The low should be improving. The high really shouldn't be incredibly extending um, as much as the low is catching up. Uh, so that way the range gets a lot smaller. Uh, and then let's look at KVK alliances. So if you want to look at who's matched, like as far as which alliances are in which groups, this is it. So I'll show you each of these. And again, I'm sure you will probably pause along the way. So I'll just kind of show these two groups at a time uh, because there are eight in this case. Um, and then we're going to go back to the servers because there's something I want to talk about that I'm shocked I was actually able to remember that as well. Uh, so we'll head back here. And the thing I want to touch on is kind of what defines a full kingdom versus crowded. And we do have somewhat of a range here, right? So let's look at the previous range first. When we looked at T1, what defined a crowded full kingdom? So you could see here that the range was pretty much all over the place, right? You saw that Kingdom 69, which had SK1, SK2 previously, I think, D, D and S, and then they changed to 69, IS, 69, DS, and you could see they had a wealth of activity. Uh, even if they may not have had the strongest alliance, they had, uh, again, decent numbers as far as it went into their total uh, for Kingdom Power, uh, but they were still crowded. You could see Kingdom 2 was full. They were at 19, right? They didn't have that strong of an alliance or, or, as far as compared to Kingdom or excuse me, Kingdom 69, uh, right? A little bit lower. But number two probably caught up a bit. Uh, number three, I mean, these are all close numbers, right? So it's like what, that's the thing is that obviously we need to consider influence and what factors into the Kingdom influence based on the individual player influence. But this is just kind of showing you it from kind of another data set to look at kind of what the ranges are. Right, like you didn't end up seeing actives show up until about 11.7 billion, uh, and then the first normal was at 10.5, but really more so consistently coming up at about I'd say eight, right, where you're starting to see it happen a lot more. Crowded's really con uh, coming up at about 13 to 14 billion, right, but you still have a full kingdom at 12 billion, <clears throat> right, and you know was that mainly because they just had one alliance that was over 12 but it's just very interesting when when you look at those things now let's look at the current group that's going into the newest season <clears throat> right which is this is a little more cleaner in my opinion it's not as sporadic with the exception of some actives creeping in here but for the most part the fools are pretty much condensed to the top uh with one outlier being kingdom five right so you can kind of see fools are at 19 billion above crowded are first creeping in at 17 bill but you still have this and maybe that's because of noir Nefisto, etc., right? That could be a reason for why they're full. Uh, but then you have the crowdeds that are kind of between 12 and 17. Actives are popping up at 12. And then they really start coming a lot more alive here at around 9, 10, and then definitely at 8, right? So you can see active is kind of between like 2 billion and 9 bill, we'll say, give or take. And then the normal first pops in at under 2 and then a little bit lower. So it's just interesting to me when... You see that and you look at the ranges here comparing it to the previous ranges. And so it's just one of those things where, you know, I think at the end of the day, we'd like to have a lot more information overall on really on really good prime examples. There's some, some actual examples on what defines full as far as like giving us a mock-up of, you know, break down each influence point and then say if, if in this example of a full kingdom, here's all the influence points broken down, and then here's some mock numbers put in that define a full kingdom. And then here's mock numbers that define a crowded kingdom, define an active kingdom, define a normal status kingdom. Like that would be really great to see. So we'd have a little bit more of an idea. But hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, that is pretty much it for me um, as we are now. That covers, I think, everything so far. Again, if there's anything that you'd like to see me cover the next time, include, do you like some of the ideas I mentioned as far as what I'm thinking of including or going to hopefully try to include the next time around? Uh, anything else you'd like to see? Uh, maybe another tab, another visual A that you'd like to see on the presentation? Let me know. Anything and everything in the comments down below. As always, I hope you enjoy, fam. Uh, I love putting out this data-driven content, even if it does take me a very long time to do. And I always appreciate anyone and everyone, of course, uh, that's able to watch the video all the way through. It means a lot. And in more importantly, it helps a lot. So with that being said, that's it. As always, until next time, I'll catch you all later.